Hey everyone, Zala Takora here, and today I wanted to do something a little different. So, while watching one of my favourite YouTubers, they came across a new horror game called Five Nights at Freddy's. The video was really good and had me on edge for the whole thing, so I thought it would be a cool idea to review it for you guys and see if I can persuade you to play it if you haven't played it, or just to show my appreciation for the game. So let's review! The game starts with you on your first night as a security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. After receiving advice from another employee, you are left to simply watch the area. But this isn't as simple as it sounds. As the employee tells you that the animatronic characters have a tendency to wander around at night and are quite curious about you and would like nothing more than to stuff you into a suit just like their own, resulting in your death, which to me doesn't sound very good. So after that rather nerving call, you are then tasked with watching the cameras and keeping an eye on our walking buddies, a task that as the night progresses gets more difficult. Using the cameras is simple. In the bottom corner of the screen, you can select the camera, or it when you select the camera, you can select which camera you want to view from the map in the corner. You also have two sets of lights and doors on each side of your office, as there are no security cameras outside of the doors, so you have to rely on the lights to see if there's anything there. As well as the animatronics, you have a limited amount of power at your disposal, which will drain throughout the night, even if nothing is being used. But if you were to close the doors and check the cameras, the power would drain significantly, also resulting in your death. So my idea of closing the doors and doing nothing wouldn't have been such a good idea. Now down to our very malicious little friends. On the first night, you watch three of them, which are the ones that can be found on the stage, which is a dog, a rabbit, and a chicken. But after night one, the helpful employee decides to tell you about another one, which I believe is to be a fox, is hiding behind a curtain in a closed part of the restaurant. And just to make your night harder, our new friend requires extra attention through the cameras as he tends to move a, a lot more than the others. And by that, I mean he runs. So, night two, you are juggling four of them rather than three of them, just adding to the tense atmosphere. With no music in the game, it relies on the simple sounds such as the fan in your office humming away, the sound of you flicking between the cameras, or you pressing the buttons for the lights and doors. And, of course, the sounds of movement down the corridors as our friends make their way towards you, often trashing things in the process. All this makes the game perfect for atmosphere as it's the simple things that immerses into a game. The only fault I've heard about the game is that the first time you load it up it is incredibly slow and takes its time but once it is loaded there has been no problems afterwards and everything seems to run smoothly. Overall the game is great with brilliant atmosphere and lots of tension. It lives off people's secret fear of the creepy characters and if you didn't fear them then then you would after this game. I would definitely recommend this game. It's on Desura at the moment and is on Stream Greenlight, getting votes on must it getting votes to be put onto Steam. Would I play the game, you ask? Well that's for another time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, etc. And I'll be back with more videos in the future. Take care everybody.